Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to install the cracked version of Remnant 2 on the Steam Deck. Um, before we get started, if you're into this kind of stuff, crack games, emulation, gaming handhelds, Steam Deck especially, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've got one request by Nez for short. Shout out to you for requesting this game. Uh, I was going to do it anyway, but uh, I'm surprised that only one person requested this game. I've been getting requests from others, uh, other games. Uh, I'm trying to get around to them, but uh, you know it's not possible to do them all. But, uh, if I haven't gone to your game yet, uh, stay tuned and I'll try my best. So let's get to installing this game. First thing you gotta do is download the game, of course. Uh, I've already downloaded mine and it's an ISO, so I've mounted it to my PC and I'm gonna run the setup. Uh, I'm gonna disable the music first. And then I'm gonna check the apply crack and I'm gonna uncheck those uh, create uh, shortcuts. And now I'm gonna select the place where I'm gonna put it. So in the D drive games folder and install. So uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Uh, after I'm installing the game, I'm gonna open up Warpinator and then I'm gonna transfer the whole game folder. So the D drive games remnant truth game folder that I've just installed to, to my Steam Deck through Warpinator. Uh, if you don't know what Wapinator is, uh, you can check out some of my other videos. Uh, it's basically a program that uh, you install uh, on your PC and you install on your Steam Deck. And if you're connected to the same network, you can transfer files, uh, which is easier, I expect. Or you could use FTP if you'd like. Um, so after I've installed the game, I'm going to transfer the whole game folder to my Steam Deck and we'll go from there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so the game folder is transferred to our Steam Deck. I'm going to open it up just to double check. Yep, everything looks good. So I'm going to open up my Steam library. And then I'm going to click add a game, add a non-Steam game. And then I'm going to browse. And then I'm going to go to the directory that I just transferred over. Wapinator and then Remnant 2. And I'm going to select the EXE and then add selected program. On the left hand side, I'm going to go into the properties. I'm going to rename it to Remnant 2 without the .exe. And then I'm going to change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. And let's try to run the game. See if it works on desktop mode. Okay, so we get this, we need Visual C. So let's get that going. Open Proton Tricks and then select your game, Remnant 2. Wait for it. Gotta be patient here. Feels like nothing's happening, but it's loading, I guess, in the back. Or maybe not. Maybe just panic and open up Proton Tricks again. Maybe I'm gonna open it again. Doesn't look like it's working. Yep, so I'm gonna open that game. And then select Remnant 2. Okay, we got something. Um, yeah, I think we can just ignore this. And this. Okay, so we've got to select the wine fix uh, and then, yeah, install a Windows DLL or component. Make sure you select that, install a Windows DLL or component. And then we've got to install the VC Run 22. VC Run 2022. Yep, we're going to install this. Don't panic, it's loading. Okay, we can ignore this. Okay. Uh, 
and we're going to ignore this. I think it's because I have an older version. Yeah, just continue anyway if you get this message. Okay, let's just install it. Okay, we've done one, the x86 version, and then we're going to do the x64 version. Continue anyway. Yep, the x64 version. Okay, now it's done. Now let's double check. It's going to install a Windows DLL again. Double check that it's installed. Yep, we've got the check mark. So let's just cancel out of Proton Tricks and then run the game again in desktop mode to see if it works. Okay, I think we're in. Are we? let's just wait for it the games now take longer to load they're, they're just so big this game is like over 70 gigabytes so yeah it's a pretty big game yeah i'm seeing the loading at the bottom right corner so let's just let it load okay we're in so there you have it i think we're gonna see if we can get it to run in game mode Oh wow, so you just start like, going to character creation. Okay, let's just let's just get the def default. Okay, let's skip the cutscenes. Oh, wow this game pretty fast like just puts you directly into the game yeah so looking pretty good let's just quit out of it let's just quit out of it and go to game mode and see if it runs on game mode i always like to tinker with the settings a bit but no let, let's just quit out of it about the North Pole? that old fairy tale yeah like this ward old white guy founds it Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. All right, so let's go back to game mode and see if it runs there. I'll see you in game mode. Okay, so in game mode, first thing we're going to do, yep, change the artwork. There's no official artwork for this, so. I think it was only released on Epic Game Store, I guess. Or is it because I didn't put the right name? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just let's just download the third party artwork and try the game out. Okay. So let's run the game and do a little bit of gameplay, I guess. Oh, the second time seems to load faster. The first time on desktop mode, it took a bit longer. So I guess the second time, the first time is the longest and then it just gets better. So let's continue the game. It's just the start. And let's see how it performs. The graphics, uh, I'm playing on the monitor, so it's not as good, I guess. The resolution's lower. But if I play it on the handheld, I think the screen for the Steam Deck would, would make it look a lot better. So it's uh, at a 30 ish. <laughs> FPS right now, like but nothing's going on in it's the screen, so that's expected. Up, 
underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. Controls are working good. <laughs> Is there something wrong with my foot? You I'm think like limping. I'm kind of like limping. Uh, I can't uh, run yet. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> this game kind of looks like The Last of Us. I think I've got a request to do The Last of Us. I might do that later. I've played it on the Steam Deck before, but I think I, I'm not sure if I deleted it or not. <coughs> So now I can run, and I can roll and fight, I guess. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't come back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's got to be another way through. Alright, so the game seems to be working great. So I guess I'll leave it here. Um, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.